Here's the ELN Easy Guide to Renewable Energy. For centuries, our energy needs were modest. Wood was it. Used for fuel in both homes and village communities. But as the population grew, so did demand. By the 1700s, coal mining was underway. And this rich source of energy kick-started the Industrial Revolution. By the early 20th century, oil, petroleum and natural gas joined coal and the world relied on fossil fuels for energy. That led to rapid urbanization and a boom in technology, transport and our modern way of life. But in the 60s, fossil fuels faced a mini backlash as hippies and tree huggers started to put the environment first calling for renewable energy sources like solar and wind power to be used more often. And what was once a fad is now policy. The reason? Climate change. In the UK, we have a variety of renewable energy sources. There's solar, wind, geothermal, biomass, hydroelectric power, hydrogen and ocean energy i.e. wave and tidal. Combined, these are called low-carbon energy sources and many believe they'll help slow down global warming. In 2009, the European Commission said 20% of the energy used in the EU must come from these renewable sources. The UK has set a goal of generating 15% of its energy use from renewables by the end of the decade as part of its share. And although it's better for the environment, Renewable energy is more costly than electricity generated from fossil fuels. So the government offers lots of cash to develop it, which is known as a subsidy. The government believes green sources of energy are vital to meeting our carbon targets. But lately, it seems the public are unwilling to pay the subsidies for green power on their energy bills. So that's it, our ELN Easy Guide to Renewable Energy. Here's the ELN Easy Guide to the Power Markets. Energy is traded around the world in two ways. As a financial, i.e. cash, or as a physical, i.e. lumps of coal, barrels of oil, tankers of gas.